Hi folks, it's Evo here from Thunderous Lure Company. And you know, when it comes to casting lures and baits, there is an art of casting. And uh, what I want to explain to you today is, in particular, uh, accuracy of casts and the quietness of a cast. I'm fishing shallow water here, and there's a rock ledge just up here a bit. And what I'm going to do when I cast on my cast my lure out there, just as it's going to hit the water, I'm just going to pull back on it a bit, and it'll make a nice light splash because it's only like six feet of water here. So I'm going to pick my spot, cast it out, and see how I just lifted back on it just a bit. And what it did, it just made a very light, subtle fall, and down it goes. And if there's uh, any fish around, you'll have a much better chance of hooking into them. Uh, another method. For accuracy casting, it's a pitch. And what you do is, well, you have about three feet of line to, to your lure, and then give a little bit of tension on your rod. And then what you do is find the spot you want to fish, have a point to that spot, and then toss it out. And again, just lift back on it when it hits the water. And you'll be able to cast with a high degree of accuracy. Uh, you won't be able to cast a country mile, but you can certainly cast with a lot of accuracy and uh, you'll catch a lot more fish. So I'm going to work my way up just closer to that rock pile. Uh, I know there's some bass holding in that rock pile there. And uh, those two techniques will definitely help me get into a little more fish. In fact, <laughs> oh, I just, I just missed them. I just missed one right now. Look at that. He took my, took my tube right back down there again. But you know, another, there's different methods of casting as well which we should talk about. I mean, you could do uh, an overhand cast, and if you're gonna cast this way, what you do is make sure your rod is in a good position before you cast, and after you cast, even if it's, even if it's sidearm, point the rod right to the area you wanna cast at. If your rod is pointing left or right, um, your lure is gonna travel that way. So point it basically to the area you want it to go, and it will go in that direction. And you can cast overhand, you can cast underhand, sideways, it doesn't matter. Always make sure your rod is pointing to that direction and you'll have a lot more, uh, lot more accurate casts. <laughs> you know, folks, just as I was explaining how to make those accurate casts, no sooner did I cast it out there and wham, well, did I have a great hit. Oh, there he goes, right by that uh, big jump there, right by that rock, right where I wanted to cast it. And that's the beauty when you've got, oh, there's another fish right behind them too. There's two of them there. There he is there. Oh, oh. Okay, I'll lift him in the boat. Accuracy of casting. Take your time, find your spots, hit the spot, work your bait. It's a riot. <laughs> well, folks, now I'm having too much fun. I gotta tell you, that next cast, it was my next cast. Remember how I said there was another one right behind it? I have a feeling this is the one. And it's another nice fish. <laughs> and again, I just cast it right back into that area. This one's got some weight to him, although... Oh, there he comes. He just come to the top there, a little bit of a boil. It's a decent fish. Okay. Oh, he's average size me. They fight bigger than they are. That's only about a two and a half pound fish. And I gotta tell you, he fought like a three, four pounder. It's got up in the net there. These rubber nets are just fantastic for catch and release fish or for untangling. It's just unbelievable. The rubber is good for the fish and uh, it also helps if you get your line tangled up in there. That's a beautiful fish. Okay, another accurate cast I'm gonna make right back to that rock pile. See if I can hook into another one. But this is just a riot. It's just accurate cast, nice quiet presentation, nine times out of 10, will produce you more fish. So folks, just before we sign off here, I'd like to thank you so much for tuning in to today's episode of Thundermist Fishing Tips. And feel free to subscribe to our channel by hitting the button found most likely right about here. They move it around from time to time, but we welcome you to our list of subscribers as we love to share more fishing tips and videos with you. 
And as always, folks, as I say, until next time, good luck and good fishing.